What's going on, guys? Check it out. Look what we got. So you guys remember Uncle T? Oh, I don't know where he went. Uh, he used to have the Lambo. He's now just purchased the new Rolls Royce two-door drop top Dawn. And I got to say, this thing, guys, this thing is beautiful. I mean, it's all, it went black on black everything. It's got, I'm curious to run. That's my main thing. I was curious to know because I know they put the odd size. 285, 35, 21s. Look at that. 21, not a 20 or a 22, 21. And this thing, I believe, is a 2021 uh, brand new. He just picked it up. I got to say, check this thing out, boys. And then you know you've got to have, oh, you know what's a crazy thing? Look at this. So check this out. You guys all know Rolls Royce with their umbrellas, right? You know how much this umbrella costs right here, this umbrella? I don't even know how you open this. Oh, I think this is a button right here. Oh, there you go. So this umbrella right here, if, say you don't put it in right, and, you know, you snap the end of this or something, and it's got two, one on this side, one on that side, this is an $8,000 umbrella. That's what I said, guys. 8000 8000 Yeah, I know. Ridiculous. So I would just leave that in there and hope that's in right. And never... Never take this thing out. And then when you do get in this thing, you know, see how that door is pretty far away. So you don't you don't touch the door. You push this button right here. Look at that. That's laziness at its finest right there, folks. How you can't get more lazier than that. So oh my water. So um here's the interior. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's it looks, I don't know. I'm not really sure, but the leather in this thing, I mean, looks just like my Ram. The Ram looks probably a little better, but the leather looks identical. The seats, the ride, this thing is just incredibly, just insanely smooth. Uh, this thing, how, you know, I mean, you, you literally are on the freeway, you're cruising, and you don't even feel nothing in this car. I mean, it's, it's like, you, it feels like you're in like a boat. And then they close the door, I don't know the button, but if you, say if you don't close it all the way, it's got this little like suction, like vacuum. I believe this thing is all on air suspension, has cameras all over it, all over here, all over the other side, the rear, 360 view up there, heads up display, the whole thing. Actually, you know what? We're going to pull it out real quick and in the sunlight and give you guys a nice uh, sun, sun shot of it. Or it's like the sun's going down. I'm going to get a, a, here we go. I get, I get so confused. My guy, I want to go there always, but here we go. I don't want to hit nothing there. Okay. What up? What happened? You saw that, huh? <laughs> I caught him. So I'm going to show you guys, get you like an outside uh, view of this thing real quick. Show you a little start. Oh, see, I think that's why I put the button too. If you're extremely lazy and you just can't reach the door, which, you know, I can, but you know, what do we got? Oh, he's got two on this side. I only got one. So oh, I'm guessing that's passenger. So you can close the passenger door from this side. All right. Let's see. Listen to that starter. It doesn't even crank. These these starters in this thing, they're such high torque. It just bam bam and just thing kicks right off. Okay. Then you put this thing in reverse. So oh, it's like a Mercedes. There we go. Maybe up. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Am I gonna hit nothing? We're good. Here's a display. You know what I am surprised? I'm surprised Rolls Royce. You know, for the amount of money, I mean, I don't know the exact price, but I know when you guys look this car up, I mean, it's a half a million dollar car. And I'm surprised for half a million dollars, they don't give you like a full digital display. They give you, you know, this number thing right over here. I'm about to hit the stairway here. So we're gonna put it in park. Okay, look at that. He's got 500 miles on this thing, 8.5 miles per gallon. That's not bad. I'd say it's pretty good. Now, I wonder what this door to open it. Do I gotta open this? I gotta ask him. Uh, you know, if I, if, I gotta, if I can close it like that, I should be able to open it like that, no? Like, well, let's hit the door button and see, hold on. Okay, let's close it. So now let's hit the door. No, may, maybe you have to uh, open it. I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't know guys, I don't know these cars. Here is the front of this bad boy. Gosh, I gotta say, this is a beautiful car. Look at the, the grill. I mean, it's like, I don't, I don't, it's just, it's massive. It's a big grill. Look at the gaps in this thing. Some massive airflow in here. And then I know some of you guys are going to ask me, does this thing really go down? I don't know. Let's get the keys and uh, let's find out over here. When you lock it, uh, where's, where did you put the keys? 
Oh, I think actually this is the key. Yeah. So I think the key's got like its own holder. And then, okay, we close this up. And let's see, ready? Hold on. How do you even lock this thing? I think it's the middle button here. Is that lock or unlock? Oh. I don't know. Uh, let's just, let's try this bottom one. Oh, whoops. That's a trunk. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can, if I just push this, will it close? Maybe, maybe not. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on, guys. Wrong, wrong button. I guess this thing only has, what is this, Wi-Fi? I don't know what this thing is. Okay, push that. There we go. It's a, that's a tiny trunk this thing's got. For a two-door, I got to say, this thing is long, though. It's a big car. Okay, let's try this again. That's, oh, no, this is locked. Hmm, it's long. It's red. So this thing is supposed to go down. I wonder if it's in the options somewhere that it doesn't go down. Maybe, I don't know, or maybe this model doesn't do that. I thought it did. Maybe it does. I don't know. He probably has no idea either, so we'll just lock it. Bam. Look at that thing, guys. That is a beauty right there. All right, I'm going to put it back in its uh, little holder here. I think, I think that's it. It just sits there. Now, I want to check out under the hood. I don't even know what this thing has. But let's open this hood up and see. Uh, this door also is so heavy. When you push it, it's just, I wonder how much this thing weighs, this car. I don't know. I, don't know. I gotta get some uh, info, get the specs on this. But let's see under the hood. Ooh, we got a V12. Uh, where is There's a sticker on this thing? <clears throat> I want to see the liter size of it 6.6 .6 liter. Oh, hmm, Duramax. All right, very nice. So V1266. That's got some ponies. Now, I don't know the uh, horsepower and torque of this thing. I don't expect this thing to haul butt. But, I mean, V12, 6.6 uh, .6 liter. That, that's got some uh, balls back there. I got to say, that's that's a lot of uh, lot of motor for this thing. But this thing's extremely heavy. You got to use old Rolls-Royce engine oil. Mm-hmm. I'm curious to know how much an oil change costs on this. Oh, look at that. Oh, zero, zero 030. That's weird. So not 020 or 040, it's 030. I'm wondering how much the uh, oil change is going to cost on this thing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, the, this is the guts of it, guys, right here. V12, 6.6 .6 liter. What's the horsepower and torque of this thing? Do you know? My first time seeing the engine. <laughs> so I figured. Cool. <laughs> oh, and I got a question for every, or for you mainly. I try to do it for the video. Um, when you put lock, when you lock it, isn't this thing supposed to go down? Uh, if you set it like that, yeah. But okay, so it is an option. That's what I figured. I'm like, because I locked it, but it didn't go down. It stayed up. So I'm not sure. Um, what the hell is? There you go. Oh. No? What? No, I don't. I hit the lock button, but it never, uh, it never dropped. So I don't know if that's in the settings somewhere. This guy, man, he doesn't ever lock his car. He goes somewhere. He just leaves the key in it and walks out and goes. He has no idea. <laughs> That's a good question. We're going to figure this out for you guys real quick, and uh, we'll get back to you. Oh, let me see. Oh, there it goes. What? One down. Oh, it went down. How'd you put it down? So it is It is an option. Huh? Hit number eight. Do that again. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Just like that. Look at that paint. Open it back up. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's see this sticker, guys. If it's got a uh, weight rating or anything on there. Uh, look at that. None, none, none. Uh, it doesn't really give me any info. 38 PSI, tire. Well, that's about it, guys. No, uh, completely different than a truck. This thing has no info on it. Well, that's great. Look at the brakes. Here's the rear brake. It's a four piston caliper. In the rear, and then here we got a ah, look at that rotor, it's a big rotor, and this is a six piston caliper. Now, maintenance guys, you know, I'd, I would ask him uh, he, on his Lamborghini too, but he never keeps these long enough to even need an oil change, so I'm not, I'm not really sure, you know, nor will he know. But and they got the new the Aston Martin here, new to the family. This thing is. A tiny car. I don't know if you've ever seen these. Like I'm used to the Aston Martins, big, long monsters. This thing, 
looks like a Tonka toy. Like when you see this thing and walk up to it up close, it is so small that I don't think, you know, if you're like a bigger kind of hefty guy, I don't know if you're going to fit in this thing. And he's got the rammer. Look at that. That's a nice machine right there. It's a gasser. But hey, you know, let's see. Is this thing unlocked? Oh, it's unlocked. Look at this thing. Oh, look at that interior. It's like a, what is that? Like a dark blue interior, I think. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, holy moly. This thing is tiny. Wow. Look at this, guys. You sit, you literally sit on the floor on this car. I gotta say, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful car. Look at the key. Are the keys in there? Yeah, here's the key. Oh, of course, they really do. Oh, that's what I figured. I told them the figure keys will be in it. <laughs> uh, look at that. All Alcantara up here. You know what I wonder? The, is the roof on the Rolls Royce Alcantara like this? No? Who knows? Who knows? All right, we're not sure. But this is beautiful, guys. Look at this Alcantara. These things are nice. Let's see. Let's start this thing up. This thing sounds good. Damn, look at that. This thing's probably got that. Uh, Is that a sport? Yeah, I figure it's got some sport. Oh, it's already in sport. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, yeah, the exhaust tone just changed. And then you go into track. Wow. Oh, it changes suspension and everything. Look at that. Holy moly. Track mode, sport mode. And do you know the horsepower and torque of this thing? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a guess, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think, guys? Air tire pressure, too. Air tire pressure. The monthly, uh, the, what is it? The change oil and filter. Change oil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'll get you guys a, uh, a uh, back view of how it sounds for you. Here, turbo. This thing's turbo. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow, all right, guys, let's open the hood on this thing. I didn't know this thing was turbo, and I don't know if you guys heard that or if it caught it on camera, but uh, this thing got a little turbo in her. Where's the uh, where's the hood chingus on this thing? Uh, I can't right now. I'm gonna have to get under here, guys, real quick and show you. Yeah, we're trying to figure out how to open the hood, guys, but check this out. This thing's got a nice camera right there. It's got sensors. Aston Martin. I haven't seen one of these in so long. Hold on. He's asking his son, how does he open the hood in this car? <laughs> we'll see. I'm not sure uh, even how to, how to open the hood on this thing, but maybe his son will know because he drives this car every day, not him. No, no. You just open the back. We're not interested in it. But what, does this thing even have a trunk in it? Well, that's bigger than the Rolls Royce. Wow. All right. Did you get your Rolls Royce hat and book and everything? Fuck no. No? <laughs> it doesn't tell you how to no. open nothing though. No. That sucks. That's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, <clears throat> See? There's no, unless I'm missing it or something. I don't I don't know. Man, how you open the hood on this thing, man? Shit, I don't even know. <laughs> it's, on side. it's on that side? It's on the passenger yeah. side. To open the hood? Yeah. What? I heard a turbo on this thing, man. Yeah. What on the? That's the acid germ. Or what the hell is this German? British, of course, British. What in the hell? Where is it? Open it, man. Open this thing. Jeez, British. They don't even know how to oh, wow. set the hood. Pro. Wow, look at those bars. Shit. This thing must have some power if it's got that bad boy on it, so it don't twist. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't twist on you. Let's see, guys. Here is the. Uh, uh, where do we got here? 4.0 liter. And let's see here. What is this, Dylan? V8? V6? Uh, V8. Yeah. V8 twin turbo. Oh, shit. Look at those guys. It's the same engine as the AMG uh, GT. GT? It's twin turbo. What's up, old boy? Good morning. What'd you just wake up? Kind of. Kind of. Did I wake you up with the car? Mm hmm. Nice. Right. So, guys, it's a 4.0. V8 twin turbo. That's how. I, that's why I heard that turbo noise right there. Dang, that's pretty nice. Let's see if we can. Uh, I don't, they don't really show you anything in these cars. It's so they keep everything so hidden in these things that you can just barely see anything on them. But you know, they show you the turbo right there. That's nice. I don't know if you guys can see that right under there. 
Uh, what else? What else we got in here? Final inspection done by Allison Beck. Okay, so Allison Beck, if you're watching, you know, if we have a problem, we're gonna we're gonna come to you. Look at that guys here. I'll turn this light down and see if you can see that. Hold on, right there. That's where the final inspection got done. Allison Beck. So if there's a problem with this, we're gonna call her and blame her and where does she live? Germany? Probably. I don't know. Most likely. All right. And if you got a problem with your car, yeah. contact Allison Beck. Oh, okay. She was the one who final inspected your whip. Okay. She sent me her email when they brought the car. Away. Oh, okay, nice. You know, I'm just Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the hood, guys. Uh, but oh, that's where the where the turbo. Huh? No, I'm good. I don't I need to drive it. Where are you going? I'll be back. Will you okay. Be here for a while? Yeah, we'll be here for a little bit. All right. All right. And if you guys notice on this door, check this out. It doesn't open straight up. It sort of goes out and then up like this. I assume that's so you can clear curbs. But if you see, I'll show you from this side. It's what door? Swan door, that's what they're called? Oh, swan doors. You see, he just said swan. I guess they're called swan doors. So see that? It's sort of, it's, it's kind of, it comes up and does, and does this like this. So I gotta say it looks good, I, you know, but I don't know. I, I'm a rammer kind of guy. I don't know about all these cars. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see what kind of car you're gonna get. What do you want, Ferrari, Rolls Royce? Uh, do you have your license yet or no? Oh no. What? Huh? Break it, you buy it. Break it, you buy it. Sorry, I don't even want to drive it, man. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe he'll get like a Rolls Royce or Ferrari. No, you'd have Rolls Royce. Get like a maybe a Ferrari or another Lambo for his first car. What's do you know the horsepower and torque of this thing? 503 horsepower, so call it 500 and like 450 torque probably. Uh, this thing probably weighs though, it doesn't weigh anything, it's just tiny. Well, there you have it, guys. You got to see uh, Uncle T's new whip. This guy, uh, he likes his uh, exotic cars, I will say, but I got to say the technology in that thing and driving it, playing with it a little more like off camera, understanding the car, it's pretty incredible the technology that they have uh, or that they put in those high end cars. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy, but. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.